Hey guys, what's up? I have no problem with this cup. In fact, I don't know if you saw it. See how the inside says Princess 2? I also have no problem if LL wants to stop on by my house this evening. <sighs> Can't blame me for trying. I love this t-shirt. Can you see it? I found that I had this drawer of all these t-shirts. And uh, this is a little loud. Hold on. Because I know you guys are going to yell at me. Um, you know how old this song is? It's from when Beavis and Butthead were still on MTV. When MTV actually still played videos. I am old. But I embrace it. Um, what was I saying? Oh, so I found, I was cleaning, um, I've had a lot of time the past six days. Um, that I needed to be resting. My idea of resting is, uh, well, I still do stuff like putting up all of the fall decorations in my house, which I will show you because I know you guys are going to ask. I'm looking around here. That might be video number two because you guys, I need to make sure my house is remotely clean before I show you. Um, but anyway, I've had a lot of time the past six days, which I will get to, um, but I found this uh, drawer of all my t-shirts, of my Val Slide t-shirt. This is from um, Reebok, Reebok, uh, Reebok One. So Reebok One is actually their um, program for personal trainers. So if you're a personal trainer, you can sign up for Reebok, Reebok One, which gets you 25% off all of their um, apparel. And you can also earn commissions for sending your clients there, which is really cool. So if you're a trainer, you need to sign up for that. Um, and if you haven't signed up for Fit Flashway yet, you're going to need to. Because we have big things that start October 1st. <clears throat> you, uh, Everyone and anyone can join us and be a part of the, the perks and the fun and the events. Um, so I have never really talked about it as much as I have recently on here. Um, but yeah, you guys need to do that because if you want cool you want to be part of the cool crowd and get the cool stuff and go to cool events you need to join so go to fitpalential.com and join um, there's a join us button there now we're changing the website so right now if you hit just join us all you have to do is put in your um, your name and your your email address um, and then you can you know kind of upgrade to other levels of membership later now let's see what this is this is my new boyfriend for the moment. This is my new boyfriend, the foam roller. <laughs> so many ways that this is better than the last one, who really was just a waste of cellular space on so many levels. But we're not gonna get into those details because this is gonna be a positive blog. So, um, un momento. Don't you want to just get your groove on when you hear music? Music is just a mood changer, people. If you're in a bad mood, put some music on. There's no way you can't be happy when you're hearing LL. Uh, did you see that? Ooh. I'm a little annoyed with my dentist. You guys know I got all that work done, so I'm just, I always kind of drink this when I'm here, A, I'm starting to get up in the morning and just chug water, but B, to show you, you know, if you think, if you're like me, and the idea of just drinking water doesn't make you go, oh my God, I'm so excited to just drink water. I'm not, I'm like, oh, okay, I'll just drink water. I mean, it's good for you and you feel great when you do it, but it kind of makes you have to pee all day and it's not anything exciting. If I thought, I mean, I, I wish that Diet Coke could be like water. Like, why can't I just be told to drink Diet Coke all day? That's all I want. What a great song. How would I choose if I had to choose between 50 Cent and LL Cool J in my fantasies? Mm. I digress again. Um, okay, focus, Kelly. Let's bring it in. Now, here's the deal. I'm trying to think of the last vlog. I think the last vlog I shot was on Monday. So today is Thursday. And I have been sick this week, which is probably kind of tying into this massive, big lesson I'm learning and a change in everything I'm doing. And I always share everything I'm, le I'm learning 
figuring out about myself with you guys because it's it's humbling myself and, and figuring out my stupid issues or bad habits that has enabled me to make a, a crap ton of progress this year. Um, so I've been sharing it and it really makes my day when I get emails from you guys and uh, a Facebook message or something on my blog that said, you know, God, thanks so much for sharing this or whatever. It's usually just the simple stuff I'm sharing. I mean, clearly I'm not um, inventing anything here or I don't have any anything that I've been studying. I didn't get my um, doctorate in, in anything that's scientific. This is just kind of like I'm learning from reading. I'm learning from reading other people. I'm learning from being around experts. And the thing that I have learned most and it has become very clear to me lately, and I definitely wanted to make this point today, is we all need teachers. And that teacher can be, I mean, we all need teachers our whole life, okay? And it's, it goes back to that whole, um, an unexamined life is not worth living. If you, if you refuse to, to learn, you can't progress, you can't evolve and grow. And a teacher doesn't necessarily have to be a person, but I think too many of us, myself included, don't realize how important a person, teacher, or coach, or mentor, or advisor can be. And we try to do too much stuff on our own, and then you realize the importance of a teacher, and how everybody who has really ever gotten anywhere and, and made a tremendous success out of their life, their professional life, their personal life, whatever, They'll usually tell you, if you in interviews, you know, think about whoever. It, it doesn't matter if it's if it's someone like Bill Gates or Steve Jobs or uh, an Oprah Winfrey or Donna Karen or or Tony Robbins, um, whoever it is that that inspires you, and you think of them as a tremendous success. There's nobody. I I challenge you to find someone who's like, yeah, I just did my own thing, and I just made this up and and I progressed and I got where I was going on my own. Pretty much everybody that you find is inspiring or a leader or has done tremendous things will always say, not only did it did they get there by doing an intense amount of studying and reading and learning, but they continue to do so. And and they're humble enough to say, like, this isn't all me. I learned from other people. I was inspired from other people. And I still do that. Tony Robbins still reads like 10 books a day. Um, and then if you meet, you know, others in like say the, the self-help area, you know, whether it's John Maxwell or Jim Rohn or all of these people that tend to be, um, you know, books that everyone reads, they all refer to one another. They're like, yeah, I read this guy and this guy and this guy and I recommend this book. And they're constantly recommending to other people, you know, read this book or go to this seminar or, or take this class. and. When I tell you what's going on with my, my training and the fact that I went down and met with Mark Crabtree and, and what I learned from talking with Joe Dowdell and Mike Roussel about my Achilles issue and, and my training and what I've been doing wrong. And I realized, you know, someone asked this on my video on Monday. They go, why are you, you know, who has the problem with the workout DVDs or whatever? The, the main issue that I have, which I'll get back to towards the end, is that I've been doing this on my own, and sometimes when you do things on your own, it's not to say I'm not trying. To, I'm not suggesting you can't get fit or make progress on your own. That you can't uh, self-study or, or figure things out on your own. But there is definitely something to be said, especially in fitness, with having an expert guide you, with having somebody teach you. For example, let's look at yoga. Every great yoga or yogi, as we call them, right, um, that I know. It, when I met Travis Elliott of uh, The Ultimate Yogi, what do you think that he took when I said, tell me about your story? The first thing he said was how he was exposed to yoga from somebody. He went, he couldn't believe what an intense workout it was. Then he started studying and he started training. He started learning from somebody. And he was telling me about the people he still trains with. He's not like, yeah, I got all this, so I'm, I, you know, that's, I'm it. He learns from other people. So here's somebody who's created, you know, this dynamic, amazing, you know, system. And the second you meet him, he's like, well, I learned from this person and this person and this person. And Kelly, my friend Kelly in Miami, you know, she's been studying yoga for 10 years. 
she doesn't talk about herself. She talks to me about all the books she read and, and all the teachers that taught her. And when, we, when we're in Miami, we go to Skanda Yoga, we go to Dharma Studios, we go to this, and all those other people are like, oh, she's great, they're amazing. They're talking about other people who they still continue to learn from. Um, now that I'm, you know, really, you know, I've had this wake up call with this Achilles issue that's, it was more serious than I thought, and it could have been more serious than I thought, and thank God, I caught it and asked about it early enough because if I didn't stop what I was doing, I would have continued to go with this random, just throw every, everything up on the wall and see what sticks kind of approach that didn't have a plan, but I didn't see that I didn't really have a plan. I thought I had a plan, but my plan was way too much and, and, and I was just throwing everything up and you know mixing everything in and killing myself, meaning, I'm, I'm being exaggerating, but way over training and putting myself in, in danger as far as, as injury and stuff. So now, you know, I go down to meet with Mark. I'm probably gonna have to shoot several videos here. I probably will, to keep them under 15. But I went down to meet with Mark at his facility, you know, and he spent probably 25, 30 minutes doing a functional, I think it's functional movement assessment or functional movements, something. I thought it was FMS. There's functional movement, you know, testing my body to see my flexibility, to see if I'm balanced, whatever. Um, and I'll share that with you later because I think I can print that up. But it was, you know, basically an analyzing, he was looking at my Achilles, we were talking about my training in the past and so on, my goals, what kind of stuff, equipment I have at home. And then, you know, this is gonna be my new program for the to start off with, which I'll share that in the second video, but there I am sitting with him going, okay, I just had such a, a, a better feeling of, I'm in the hands of an expert. When I was out at Under Armour headquarters and, and we did that, that uh, workout outside and I was working out with Chris Welsh and Tori um, and I was really, really, told you guys, out of breath, completely out of breath and like, you know, <gasps> and I thought, I've, I've got to stop, he's got to let me stop, I've got to have some Gatorade and he's like, no, keep going and I remember I said to him, you know, towards the end, I kept going because I know that he's an expert. I know that he's trained. I know that he knows what to look out for as far as me dying or passing out. So I just kept going because I'm with an expert. If I was doing that on my own, I don't trust myself that much because I don't have that education that these people do. I am not the expert. I am somebody that needs to follow the experts. So when I was out there and you, and you know, I talked to him about my issues when I was running, that I would get halfway and start doubling over cramping. And I didn't know why I was doing it. I just thought it was something weird about my body. And then he told me, you know, he starts asking what I'm eating and how I'm hydrating. And we realized like, wasn't doing enough of this. Guess what? When I started doing more of this, this was when I was still running. Um, I went out on those runs and I didn't have those issues because I learned from somebody and because I had an open, I had to say open heart in that um, sense. But there's so many people that are just, they refuse to think they can learn from anybody and they think they know better and really, the best people, whether it's in fitness, whether it's in business, whatever, the people that have gotten the farthest, honestly, they have a, a common theme. Do some research on this. They are all somebody who will, who will tell you, I got this far by learning from all of these people and I continue to get coached and guided and trained. The best people are always getting taught and, and mentored and coached by some other people. It's, it's an endless process and it's something that, that I'm starting to realize like in my life. I need and I want direction and to learn for my, my life in general, for my career. Um, my career is my mission, which is my business. I can learn every day how to be a better leader, a better CEO. I never thought I'd be a CEO. I always worked for someone else. But now that I'm in this role and, and, and I take it seriously and I'm so humbled and grateful for it, I need to start really learning how to be a better leader um, to my team that's growing and, and all of that. So I need to teach myself, I need to learn. And that enables me to pass on you know some of the stuff to you guys and so on. So I guess my first point, which I didn't even get into this stuff and my foam roller boyfriend, um, which I'll do in my next video, but I guess probably the biggest thing I wanted to get across here is realize the importance of teachers or coaches or mentors and don't underestimate that because um, 
we should always be open to change and direction and rethinking what we're doing. Um, I'm rethinking everything about my training right now and you have to be able to go, okay, you know what? I might not be able to get where I'm going here without some help. And don't consider this a bad thing. Consider this an awesome thing. Ask for help, trust the people that are there, and that should be like a lifelong thing. Because the people that got where they are, when I met with Mark, you know, all he was doing was telling me who he'd learned from. And then those people I've, I've, I've met, you know, they're talking about who they've learned from and they're continuing to do it. So it is a lifelong process. It is something tremendously valuable and it's not limited to just fitness. Um, it's, it's all areas of your life. You should totally, totally be all over that. You know what I'm saying?